Uh, now on this subject i have like a thousand super chat right now on this subject and people are saying jf why don't you ask about the audio leaks don't worry guys i'm a professional i'm getting there uh so people there was this audio leak uh after we spoke last time or perhaps before we get into the subject mama jf has a question (laughs) hey hello oh hey talking about charlatan Uh, Tara Ben, we just wanted to show you something. We found oh. something for your little uh, kid. Ah, she found something. It's a little. It, it's a baby. Uh, it's a baby shirt, and oh, it's written the Tiki, tiki Time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually is cute. A, a bit of an inside joke there, but. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the gift. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so I was about to ask about the whole audio league that Milo did about you. Of course, we can't play the, this audio on the show here. Uh, how did you experience going through this uh, release of an audio of you in a private conversation or semi-private somehow? Uh, well, I've never confirmed whether that is uh, actually my voice, uh, nor okay. will I. Um, I. I think a recording like that is inherently dubious. And um, so I absolutely will not um, confirm the authenticity. Um, It is, I'll I'll talk about it, you know, after taking a step back. Um, It's interesting that this came from Milo and came from the movement itself. And it was basically an attempt to, uh, we're going to destroy Spencer. Um, but it was coming from the alt-right. It was not leaked uh, from uh, liberals. And uh, it, it is a, this attempt to basically say that Spencer is this bad person, uh, therefore Milo is good, and uh, the new Groiper movement uh, should displace Spencer, and you should never uh, care about him, and look, we're, we're the good guys. It was a weird kind of triangulation uh, being done. Um, but again, I won't, I absolutely won't confirm, um, the, the authenticity. It's, it's just dubious to say the least, but it's interesting the way that it was presented. It's, it's presented basically as we have this recording, um, uh, of a person, you know, at his, at his wits end, very emotional, um, basically, you know, telling people to get their act together. We're going to win this thing. Um, but, you know, but using, you know, strong words that might even offend a, uh, um, fiery football coach giving a halftime speech, but, um, it, it was, it, it was, it was leaked by, uh, a, a, again, according to Milo, it was leaked by someone in the circle. So it was a audio from say a half dozen, a dozen people that was put forward again, um, what kind of serious person would want to be involved in a movement this toxic? I mean, I, I just have to ask that question. The way that it was presented uh, itself is, oh, look, we've got him now. We tricked him. Uh, we pretended to be his friend, but we're actually going to uh, now destroy him with this, you know, one fatal swoop of this audio leak. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, anyone from the outside sees it for what it is. Anyone from the outside sees it as, uh, again, as a movement that is uh, cannibalistic, absolutely toxic, and that no one should be a part of. And that's sadly how I view it. The cannibalistic uh, nature of this movement uh, it appears everywhere. Uh, people drop each other under the bus. And, and personally, yeah, I have noted, although, you know, I think it's wise to not recognize the or, or ad- admit the audio or approve it as your voice, especially if it's not the case. Uh, also, the titling of the YouTube video by Milo was absolutely dishonest from a journalistic perspective, claiming that it has happened in the context of a murder when, in fact, uh, no no fact suggests that so definitely there has been some very low blows in this whole story well guys uh, yeah you got i mean your just answers. to reiterate i had nothing to do with james fields or heather Heyer. i mean i don't you know the uh the federal government has uh investigated james fields uh, like they would investigate uh a a serious m- murder suspect or or terrorist suspect and they have found no connection they've actually stated that explicitly in his trial um so the idea that that's what that audio was about is just is yeah uh, absolutely absurd and and just demonstrates they're they're just 
their their sickness. And again, I, who whom are you appealing to? You're 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 releasing this to appeal to other grapers. I mean, you know, the mainstream media is not going to now declare that you're okay uh, because you've released this. Um, <coughs> not going to happen. It, no. You don't score political points by trying to cancel Richard Spencer. That was essentially my conclusion. There's no such thing as canceling Richard Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Cheeky Pop says, Richard... I'm, I'm like that Netflix account that you signed up for and you forgot about. I cannot be canceled. I will be charging you nine ninety nine for the rest of your life. Grapers. <laughs> that is a beautiful metaphor.